Hey and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to create custom taxonomies on WordPress. Probably let me begin with a couple words on what the taxonomies actually are. So briefly put, the taxonomies are the uh, criteria that help you sort out and categorize your posts of a certain post type. For example, I have here created my posts of a custom post type. If you want to know how to create custom post type with Jet Engine plugin, you can go to our YouTube channel and find a tutorial on it. And if you want to download Jet Engine plugin, just go to the description down below and download it at the link provided. So, I have also created a listing putting all of my items all together. And I've got here the taxonomy called uh, Genre. So this taxonomy will help me categorize and sort out the images of a that have particular information written in their custom taxonomy. And if I click on one of these two, it's gonna take me to another page and show me all the items that have the information saying food in their taxonomy. To show you a better example, here is the uh, landscape written in the genre taxonomy and here is also a landscape. If I click on it, it takes me to a page where I see all the uh, posts that have got this uh, taxonomy information. Okay, pretty good, right? So it helps your visitors navigate through a website and sort out and find just the information that they want to see. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to create a custom taxonomy and how to write the information to your taxonomy and how to display this taxonomy in a listing just like that. Alright, so let's get back to our WordPress dashboard. And we're going to go to Jet Engine. Once you download the plugin, you're going to see it right here. Just scroll down in your navigation menu and you're going to find it. Where we should go is to label saying taxonomies and it's going to take us to a custom taxonomies list. You're going to have nothing here because I have already created a custom taxonomy saying genre as you have already seen, but you'll just need to click on add new and just type in some information. Since I've got a portfolio, as you have already seen, it says portfolio. And so I'm going to create a custom taxonomy that's going to help me to sort out the images according to a certain topic. And here, pay attention to what post type you apply this particular taxonomy. So here you see the default ones and my custom one that I have just created. So I'm just going to click on it. So as you can see, I can add several post types like that. Also pages. And this particular taxonomy is going to work on all the ones that I have chosen, but I'm going to go with the portfolio only. The labels is a pretty optional section. It helps you change the UI labels right here. It says add new and all pages. And you can change that and just you're going to see different text on those labels. I'm not going to do it right now. The next section is settings. And you're going to want to leave those as they are, just in case you don't want this taxonomy to be public, you don't want it to be shown here in the navigation menu. It just depends on your needs. And uh, I'm just going to toggle it to yes, so I can assign parents to this particular taxonomy item. And uh, meta fields. It's just a cool thing that allows you to add some more information and I'm just going to type some, let's create something really random like skill and the radio let it be. And this matter field is just going to say how skillful the photographer is at a certain topic. So we're pretty much done in here and let's just press add taxonomy. Don't forget to press this little button because if you don't, um, the plugin will just not remember the settings that you have applied. And once you changed any of the settings, don't forget to press the 
button again to update the taxonomy. So now what we should do is go here and what we're gonna see is a new taxonomy. Before there was only genre available, my another custom taxonomy that I have created before, but now we've also got topic. Let's see what happens if we click on it. And here we see a menu where we can manually add the items to our taxonomy. And let's just say I want it to be food and the slug will also say food parent category we don't have any yet and description these are the images of food and let's say I'm a beginner at this topic right and let's do a couple more all right uh, so what we've got here is the uh, taxonomy items that we can add manually. But there is also another way how we can add uh, the taxonomy items, the taxonomy information. Let's go and see all the posts of the particular post type that we have assigned this taxonomy to. And let's go to, to this item. And what we see is that before we got only the genre panel so the uh, this taxonomy so we could add the information only to this taxonomy but now since we have added a new one same topic here it is and these are the uh, taxonomy items that we have manually added this is food not nature and we can also add a new category so these that we have created can be the parents of those that we're gonna add later. And let's just type in pancakes. Okay, and here it goes. So it seems pretty easy. And if you don't allow uh, the uh, this particular taxonomy to create parents and children, so they will be just displayed like that. And if you allow to assign the parents it's going to be kind of a tree. Right? Okay. So you see and you can now assign children to pancakes. Okay, now it looks like this sort of a tree. Okay, fine. Let's just update it. All right, we are done. Uh, now let's go ahead and see if this has applied and it will not because what we need to do is to go to the custom listing that I have created to display all of these items this particular way. We need to go to Jet Engine again and go to listings and here you're going to see all the custom listings that you have created. This is the one that I have pre-designed before. I'm just going to go and edit it with Elementor. And as you see, here is the um, here are the settings that I have applied and here are all the fields that I've got here. And I need to scroll down and I'm going to see the uh, elements that go with Jet Engine plugin. And what I'm going to do is to create one more um, field for the taxonomy just under this one the one called genre. Let's add new and I'm gonna grab dynamic terms. Just grab it and drag it on a new section. Okay and here you're gonna see from taxonomy where you can choose what taxonomy to take the information from. I'm going with topic and as you see it has applied all the categories that we have created. Shovel terms, yes, we don't have that many of them, but if you want to assign a particular number of categories to be displayed, like if you have 100 of those but you want only 50 to be displayed, you can just type in the desired number of categories to be displayed. And let's select an icon. I'm just going to show you how easy and fast it is to set up. Uh, the size is going to be 18 and the gap is going to be 10. Delimiter, just going to increase the gap just a little bit like that. 
And I believe it's gonna be it. We're just gonna save it and update the information. And just gonna go and see just how it looks. And it has applied all the settings that we have saved. As you see, here is the taxonomy called topic. And we have got food, pancakes, and with a strawberry right here. If you click, you see all the posts sorted according to this particular category. Now you know how to create and show custom taxonomies on WordPress with the help of Jet Engine plugin. Don't forget to go to the description box down below and check out the link to download this plugin. Thank you for watching. Hope this video helped. Check out for more tutorials on our YouTube channel. And I see you the next time.